Hey guys, welcome back to Sid Meier's Civilization VI Gathering Storm as Christina of Sweden. Yes, that is what we are playing. And appearing right there in the bottom left-hand corner of the screen would be the lower thirds is uh, the various social media websites that I belong to. It has been updated now, so if you guys um, are part of any of these social media sites, I would uh, encourage you to follow me there. All right, so we are, of course, still moving along, preparing for, a, for an inevitable battle with uh, Eleanor right there. Hoping that we get that golden age soon-ish. And also wanted to mention that I saw that some of the UI mods were available and updated. However, they don't appear to be all working. Now, initially they were. As in, when I was most recently... Uh, when I most recently started this particular game, they were working. So, for example, Better Trader is now working. So, we can select, you know, if we want, um, you know, what the highest production is going to be, which we do want. So, that's going to be Cahokia. And Better Spy Screen is working, or Better Espionage Screen is working. Also, Better Reports is now working. So, we can see things in a more comprehensive manner. You may recall earlier, we weren't able to see, like, each of the various cities and what the production rates were. So now with um, with this uh, reports UI, we now have that. But what isn't working is the newest UI, which is concise UI. But um, it probably won't work really until we start an entirely new game. But um, not a big deal. We'll deal with uh, what we have for now. Okay, so here's another swordsman. And what we'll do is we'll eventually just uh, upgrade those guys. We're going to clear this to get the production. And let's see. Have you go like all through here. The mods are quite nice to have. They do make things a lot more convenient. They can get a little cluttery on the screen, but for the most part, the ones that uh, are available are pretty nice. CQUI never did work, um, apparently, for Rise and Fall, and I don't think they've gotten it to work very well with Gathering Storm, and I'm not really sure why it's not, so what I end up going with is just separate ones. And I think I will get another builder since we do have the bonus for them. Let's see. We do. Surf them. So we kind of want to tidy up our tiles, get those going. And prior to the game, I went ahead and went through each of the various civs and got all of our alliances and so forth working. Now, see, I just did a right click so I know that right-click sieves is working also. Basically, that just allows me to right-click and get through the um, makes a great and various messages. Shield. So here's our new unit, the Caroline, the shield which replaces no the uh, pike and Strange shot, winning. which is well, kind of nice. All right, so I think I'm going to go ahead and keep... Alright, so we'll probably get trade uh, confederation. We'll keep our um, isolationism. We can get rid of land survey. We're not going to do any updates at the moment. Let's see. We have a lot of builds left before we can really think about putting down any encampments, but that is something that we're going to want to do, probably kind of in succession. So, for now, let's see here. Maybe industrial zone. And... 
science and culture for now. So not that much on culture, but a little of science. And we will get mass production. <coughs> And humanism. And looks like that swordsman is on the niter. We will be growing towards that niter. We have 15 more turns. Okay. We'll just wait because um, I certainly will want to work the niter because that will help us with our musket men. 14 turns away from the Forbidden mm -hmm. Palace. She seems to like our army. I don't know where um, Eleanor went with that traitor. Or, I'm sorry, with a settler. With her settler. Alright, let's work some more of these hills. You have two builds left, which is pretty good. Alright, it let us know that it's dormant. Okay. So it looks like we've explored pretty much everything over here on this map, which is a good thing to have. So we know all the city-states that are available or all the city-states that we can connect with. Because even when you get to satellites and you light up the entire map, you still have to make contact with the city-states to you know, be able to interact with them. The city's coming right along. I've been pretty happy with it. And... Um, Speaking of cities, so see, this is still a valid location. All of these areas here are still valid, which means that Eleanor may have been wanting to come over here. We'll have to keep an eye on it. Now, here she comes now. So we'll have to keep an eye on her. I don't want to go to war yet, but what I don't want her to do is put down a city right in between us. That would be um, very irritating. Here's our horseman. I was just kind of curious where he was going. Send him up that way. So it's um, the thing is, it doesn't look like she'd be able to cut off our. Um, now, see, this is why I also don't like using Auto Explorer. We're not using Auto Explorer, but this is why I don't like using Auto Explorer because it has a tendency to get your guys killed. So I just rather do it manually, and if my guys die manually, they die manually. All right, why am I not able? Oh, I can't go this way because of that uh, warrior. Okay. And let's see, you got one more build. Where would you be able to go? Maybe, so we cleared everything we can clear out here. And I don't want to clear that because that's for us, but we will work that. All right, here's another musket man, or here is a musket man. All right, and yeah, we'll get you a builder as well. Well, actually, no, you don't need a builder. So in that um, concise UI, we would be able to use a queue system. Another thing that's new here are these new um, sections here that kind of, I guess, push you right straight to what you want to do in the game, like wonders and then units. So that's kind of nice, but um, I do like the uh, concise UI a little bit better. Let's get you, and uh, let's see, what city are we? Right here. Yeah, because we don't need to build the... Um, let's go ahead and get a library real quick. And you'll get a library as well. We should get a lighthouse there too. Yeah, our unit was killed. We've got a lot. We've got a lot of scouts, so... I don't like losing units, per se, but... Um, yeah, our scouts have pretty much served their purpose. 
and we'll just end up retiring them anyway, so. Yeah, I'm really curious what she's doing over here. Fortunately, our cities are connected, so even if she were, even if she were to say put a city right here, as, as annoying as it would be, tactics mean doing what you can. It um, you know, won't really be a big deal. All right, so now that warrior's out of the way. Violent storm. Okay. So we're just kind of moving right along, really, just kind of revealing more of the map. Maybe we'll find some more city-states. You never know. They can be in kind of very peculiar and interesting locations from time to time. Yeah. Well, we're going to get more space here soon, so don't worry about that. Niter and horses again. That's, that's acceptable. We won't be going to war for a few, anyway. I keep wanting to click that because that was the old history button. Yeah, so 17 to 47 more turns. Let's see. Yeah, let's go ahead and get you the lighthouse. And you can... Speaking of units, let's take a look at our units here. What our unit situation is. One, two, three, four... One, two, three, four, five, and six would be the musketmen. So we want like one more of those so we can bind those together. But do I want to make that here? Because I'm thinking actually we went, we may want a battering ram or a siege tower. That seems kind of funny, but believe it or not, it would make things a lot easier. Because she does have walls everywhere. And if we were to go after her, we're going to want to go after um, this city first, and then Paris, and then maybe Lyon. Those are her biggest cities. I don't really care much for these cities, but um, it will be quite a battle, um, especially with a 50 city and a 70 city, 70 strength that is. So we could get that. We could get our new... Um, Let's see. That's 19 turns, though. That's the only thing. And let's see. Now, you need other things that are more important right now. So let's see. Commercial hub? Yeah, right here. Perfect. All right. Nine more turns for Forbidden Palace. Let's hope we can get it. He wants Jade. We can do that. That'll help us maintain some good relations with some of the sieves. Alright, so mass production boost. We are working on that at the moment, so that kind of worked out nicely. Storm Peter's out. Okay. Well, good for them. Meanwhile, here comes Eleanor. And we will make that trade as well. I don't know about one per turn. He's got lots of cash. Come on, man. Let's get rid of this and then do... Um, he'll give us... Let's see. No? What, do, what does he want? <laughs> it's okay. I mean, it, that's fine. <laughs> I'll take it. All right, there's our builder. Let's go ahead and work on some of our um, luxuries and iron. Oh, I didn't see what wonder that was. Woo, it wasn't Forbidden Palace, so that's great. You, on the other hand... I think we needed one more musket men, didn't we? 
How many catapults do we have? One, two, three, four. We need a total of six. Well, actually, we need nine. But, uh... There. That's eight. Working on our military now. It's really about the best time to do it when it's kind of like in this little bit of a lull period where there isn't like a lot of activity going on with the other civs and you've got at least several districts down. It's always nice to have at least three districts down about this time in the game. It just really varies. You know, the thing about Civ is there's not like a right way or I guess you could say it's kind of a rock, paper, scissor, good, better, best kind of thing where, you know, you'll never see anyone play the, the, the game in any one particular way. I suppose if you have a penchant, for example, to play, like say you're a culture player, then maybe you'll find ways to streamline you know, getting those culture victories and things like that. But other than that, that was nice. And we're going to want to upgrade those. Now, she wants open borders. Of course she does, because she wants to get uh, more land. Here she comes. We could have bought a tile, or we could buy a tile... I really don't People want to buy a tile, though. In any color. All right, and here's another um, catapult. Okay. Oh, the Mori's all the way over here. Interesting. All right, let me think about this for a minute, guys. Let's take a look at the lens. Settler lens. We could buy this tile. Or even the rice. Ooh, that's painful. That is painful. That is very painful. But if we don't get the rice, she will. Oh, boy. Ooh, that hurt. That came with a little bit of tiny bit of pain. Well, you know what? In <laughs> in reality, we pro see. Here's the thing: had I bought this tile to push her back, it may have pushed her forward. Because with this being a river, it may put her in a or it could have pushed her here. But she's gonna put a city down, and there's nothing we can do about it. That is so annoying. Where are you growing to? You're growing to the what tile is that? Oh, the mountain tile? She won't be able to get the horses. Well, it depends on where she ends up putting her city down. Let's see. Let's get siege tactics. Work our way towards military science. And then, of course, we have industrialization here. All right. So... Meanwhile, let's go ahead and get 22 for a spy. All right, let's get you a industrial zone. This will be fine. And the builder can probably clear that jungle to help us out. And she wants to buy some of the dyes. These these sieves are really stingy, and I think a lot of it has to do with the fact that they want to sell us some um, favor. But you know what? I I'm okay with it because it really doesn't do us any good to have additional um, luxuries that we don't use. There's really no particular advantage to it. Let's have you clear this for um, production. Right. 
Can we get friendship? We have friendship with the Mari. We can't. We've used all of our alliances. There's really not much we can do there. Okay. So next turn. Four more turns for the Forbidden City. Yep. She's going to build it right there. And that's going to be... Oh, four gold per turn. Gold, flat gold, and spices. Yeah. We can do that. She's going to build it right there. Is that valid? Is that a valid location? One, two, three. One, two, three, four. Yeah, one of the things the guys were joking about when they were playing the um, press build was how some of the um, like advantages or bonuses or abilities of some of these sieves does allow for forward settling, which is kind of funny. Yeah, let's get a trade route. All right, let's see. Where would you be more useful? Probably in our, our little city here still needs to grow and develop. So let's work that hill. But let's take care of our city here, too. Let's not neglect you. Put some farms down, maybe. For additional housing. We've got 25 turns until we go there. 9 of 10, and that's with a aqueduct. I guess we can get some farms. I'm kind of hoping she's confused and doesn't know what to do and doesn't build a city right there. So much for that thought. Well, there she is. And that is civilization for you. The forward settling sieves. All right. Let's um. Let's get you a campus. How many? Nine more turns. Okay. So in nine turns, we can get some walls. And let's just put you out to sea. To see what we can see in the sea. Well, when we go to war, we could uh, raise that city because it is absolutely useless. I don't know how much grievance points we'll get, but that is um, not a very useful or productive city, in my opinion. All right, let's clear you. She did that out of spite, but we will, um... Okay, so maybe we need to renew the friendship, which I'll do that. I'll do that in between rounds here. Okay, so no one has built the palace. Oh, uh, we got one more turn until we do. Let's go ahead and get you a farm. And let's... And we got two builds. Yeah, let's go ahead and just get a farm here, too. And let's see. Let's put you out to sea. One more turn, and we will have the palace. And that will be great. Let's see if we got it. That is at least one of the nice things about King Difficulty, is that we can at least get wonders, even though we didn't even get a religion. I don't know the whether or not I just didn't complex is you know, built put enough focus axis. into it. The axis so the there's world. the Forbidden City, Everything which means we will get an extra um, policy slot, which is um, in the wild card slot. So that's always really cool. All right, guys, I think on that note, I'm going to go ahead and wrap, a, you know, wrap up the game here. And I want to thank all you guys for your likes, shares, and comments. And, of course, you guys can click on that channel icon appearing right there on the screen to subscribe as well as clicking that notification bell. That way you guys will know when the next Civilization 6 video is out. 
as well as any additional content is, that is here on the channel. And I will see you guys in the next game.